Hi, my name is Chris Elliott and I'm absolutely delighted to be the new controller of the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund. I am thrilled to take on this fantastic role and I am very much looking forward to working with you all to support the current and former members of the Royal Air Force whenever they need us. However, I hadn't quite imagined that I would be introducing myself to you through a message recorded by me at home. These challenging times mean that we're all having to adapt. So, a little bit about me. I'm very proud to have served almost 35 fantastic years in the Royal Air Force and I retire as an Air Vice Marshal, something I never dreamt as possible back in 1985 when women's employment opportunities in the service were still constrained. As an Air Traffic Control Officer, I have served at many busy airfields and I have worked with and met some extraordinary people throughout my career and have had the opportunity to fulfil some challenging leadership roles, including as Officer Commanding Operations Wing at Royal Air Force Northolt and as Station Commander at Royal Air Force Halton. In my last role in the service, as the Chief of Staff for Personnel and their Secretary, we had the privilege of working with Royal Air Force board members and other stakeholders to look after the careers of service personnel and provide support and welfare to them and their families and dependents. I'm married to James, who's a British Army veteran, and our own children, Lucy and Harry, have lived on or near bases throughout their childhood and have really enjoyed taking part in airplay sessions. And as a family, we have benefited from the fund's investment in childcare facilities. Throughout my career, I have witnessed the fund in action in various forms and have seen the difference it has made to the lives of past and present members of the Royal Air Force, their families and dependents. Looking at the year ahead for the fund, I have no doubt that it will be a tough year for us. We've already seen a drop in our income and we've had to take the difficult but necessary step of closing our care and respite centre in West Sussex, Princess Marina House, as well as closing the popular Delicate Lunch Club there. These are unprecedented times and we must continue to be there for those that need us. And in these difficult times, just as it has been for the past 100 years, our number one priority will remain the well-being of the Royal Air Force family. I'm acutely aware that in the current environment, social isolation and loneliness will unfortunately increase. Around three quarters of our Royal Air Force family are aged over 65, some living away from friends and family and are often experience complex health and welfare challenges. The Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund will continue to respond and adapt. The fund has expanded a number of our welfare services, including telephone friendship groups, and are making check-in calls to those that are already on our radar. We've also broadened our financial assistance to include crisis, temporary financial assistance grants for working age Royal Air Force veterans who may be out of work due to the ongoing national response to the coronavirus. Another area that the team are exploring include a legal employment advice helpline to be available at least until the end of this year. Our listening and counselling services are still available and we will be expanding the access to the Headspace app to partners of our service personnel in the coming weeks. As I've been preparing to take over as a controller, it has been fantastic to watch how the staff across the fund have responded to ensure that we are there to support the Royal Air Force family. We will keep you updated about developments across the fund during these uncertain times. And if you want to know more about the fund's response to this national crisis, if you can, please take a look at our website. If you have any queries, please do not hesitate to get in touch. And most importantly, stay safe.